Hi, everyone, and welcome to the second Measures of Association lecture with a focus on absolute measures, such as the absolute risk reduction, attributable risk, and how those are related to number needed to treat and number needed to harm. And if you can only take one thing away from this lecture, it would be that absolute risk reduction and attributable risk are basically the exact same concept. The only difference being that absolute risk reduction is used in the setting of beneficial exposures or risk factors, whereas attributable risk is used in the setting of harmful exposures or risk factors. But they are basically the same exact concept, and it just changes a little bit of the math that's done, as we'll demonstrate. So first, starting with absolute risk reduction, um, we'll use this two by two table on the left um, at the top, which as always has disease status along the columns and exposure status along the rows. And the first step in these questions is calculating the risk, um, which we discussed in the first measures of association lecture. So um, if you're unsure how we calculate risk, I recommend you watch that video. But basically for risk among the exposed, we're gonna take the number of exposed with the disease and divide that by the total number of exposed. So I'll be 50 divided by 200 which gives us a risk of 0 0.25 among the exposed. Then we're gonna calculate the risk among unexposed, which will be the number of unexposed with disease divided by the total number of unexposed, which will give us 200 over 400 or 0 0.5. In this case, we can see the risk among the exposed is lower than the risk among the unexposed. Therefore, we know that this exposure or risk factor is beneficial. So we'll be dealing with an absolute risk reduction. And to calculate the absolute risk reduction, you take the risk among the unexposed and subtract the risk among the exposed. So in this case, it'd be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25, and we get an absolute risk reduction of 0 0.25. Because the exposure or the risk factor was beneficial, and we were doing an absolute risk reduction calculation, we would then use the number needed to treat uh, equation. So this is one divided by the absolute risk reduction, one divided by 0.25 or four. And the interpretation of this is that for every four patients who are exposed rather than unexposed, there'll be one additional patient without disease. So one additional patient will benefit. So again, beneficial exposure risk factor, which is shown by the fact that risk is lower among the ex exposed and the unexposed, you know we're dealing with absolute risk reduction and number needed to treat. Now let's contrast this with the example at the bottom. So in this case, again, disease status along the columns, exposure status along the rows. Um, if we were to calculate the risk among the exposed, that would be 200 divided by 300 which would be 0 0.666. And then if we're gonna calculate the risk among the unexposed, that would be 150 divided by 450, which would be one third or 0 0.333. So in this case, we see that the risk among the exposed is higher and therefore the exposure is harmful. You know, Maybe it's some sort of risk factor like smoking. So in this case, because the exposure or risk factor or treatment is harmful, we're going to be calculating an attributable risk. So this is the risk among the exposed minus the risk among the unexposed, which is 0 0.666 minus 0 0.333, which is 0 0.333 or one third. Because the exposure is harmful, because we're calculating an attributable risk, we then will be dealing with a number needed to harm, which is calculated as one divided by the attributable risk, which is equal to one over 0 0.333, which is equal to three, with the interpretation being for every three patients who are exposed rather than unexposed, there will be one additional patient with disease. So again, absolute risk reduction and attributable risk are basically the same exact concept, and they're calculated in a very similar way. The only difference is that absolute risk reduction is used for beneficial exposures or risk factors, and attributable risk is used for harmful exposures or risk factors. So don't get confused about 
know, the difference between the two and recognize they're basically the same thing and two ways of looking at a similar problem. As usual, I recommend uh, that you try your hand at the associated practice questions to see whether you understand the material. Please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.